Hello, it's Laifa. What's good, gang? So today I want to share with you some of the pieces that I've been looking at for autumn, winter. Now, your girl did a crazy thing. I put tabs, like I've been doing a lot of online window shopping, putting tabs and things and meaning to, like I've just left it open. Then somebody came and deleted some of the stuff. So some of these items, I can't remember where I saw them, but I'm going to go back and find it. And then if I don't mention where I saw it from, there will be some text written. It's transitional season. We want to dress warmer. And a lot of the time, people tend to revert to dark colours. Like that's just the natural autopilot for most people. Now, I'm quite a colourful person. I like wearing bright colours. Currently, I'm wearing mustard. I love a good must. I think mustard is a great sort of like if you like yellows, but you, you know, you want to take that sharpness off the yellow, go for a mustard. And I love it. It just works so beautifully for autumn, winter. Now, I've been looking at what's been trending in, you know, the fashion industry. How can I still rock colours? And I'm finding that in order to get it right, you need to think woodlands. You need to think earthy, foresty tones, thinking of your, your reds, your browns, your, your, not your deep, rich colours. Like if you're going for a yellow, but not so much a yellow, but more of a mustard yellow. So think woodlands and you will be on the right track for this autumn winter something that i wouldn't necessarily do is red but red seems to be very very hot this season i've been seeing people doing a lot of clashing of colors now as i said to you before in another video me i'm, I'm trying to get myself together i'm trying to bring the old lele back i'm experimenting with styles i'm trying to find my style again now i'm going to talk about some coats because i feel like coats are really good investment pieces i like to spend more money on them because i feel like i'm going to wear them for longer I saw this coat from H&M. It's a hundred pounds and it is a red. This is, look at me. This is lady in red. It's dancing with me. Okay, let me calm down. But this is what it speaks to me. I love it. I think it's like, I think it's such a statement. You don't need to wear anything flashy underneath. Just wear that coat and people will be able to spot you from a mile away and I think it's a good way to um, wear the trend um, as an outer layer. Now I saw this other red coat, it's a trench coat, it's this hat red, it's 80 pounds and for the life of me I don't, I don't like, I'm going to just mute myself now and tell you where I found it. It's from, it's from River Island but this colour sold out but here's a great alternative. There you go, I think it's a gorgeous piece now another coat that I saw is this camel belted robe coat and I do like a good robe coat. It re reminds me of the robe coat that I featured um, one of my first fashion videos on this channel and I, I borrowed it from my sister. But this one is a little bit thicker. It's £85. It, it just looks, re it looks really warm. I'm assuming it's from River Island and I feel like the whole robe coat is very classic and it, it, come, it never goes out of style. Blazers. As I was saying, I feel like blazers are always hot. They never go out of style. And I'm especially liking this one. This is £50. It's from River Island and I feel like I would completely do a winter bumblebee in this look, you know, just wear all black, that yellow mustard blazer. I might even do matching shoes. Nah, keep it as black shoes and I'm good to go. Look at, and I even like the detail on the, the pockets, the zippers. And it's this, um, it's a faux suede. Get it before I do. That's what I say. Get it before I do. Right now, this next jacket, because I'm going through the jackets first, it's this boys friend style jersey jacket. So it's very light, but very good for layering. It's this pinky sort of fleshy type colour. I even like the way they've styled it with that skirt. It's from Topshop. It is. It's £39, so it's £40. It's very affordable. And yeah, but it's another way to wear colour and just you know throw color into your wardrobe don't don't be shy i think i said in a video that i don't like yellow but i must be lying because look at this jumper look at the, look at this jumper oh it is gorgeous it's this um barbed wire knit i can't remember the name but it's cropped 34 pounds from top shop 
I love it. Now, me personally, if I'm wearing a crop, I need to wear something very high waisted. Just style this with a you know a nice pair of dark denim jeans or ripped jeans or anything really. But I would wear this really half high waisted, so um, little to no flesh is showing. That's just for me personally. Or I would wear like maybe a white cami or vest top underneath and just tuck it into my high waisted jeans so I don't have any flesh showing. I think I've got something like this, but a dress like ver version of it. And um, I bought it, funnily enough, I bought it from Primark years ago and I'm still really, look, it's going to come out again this season because I know it's still in my wardrobe, but I love it now let's talk going back to the whole reds being on trend i saw these red boots online they're 42 pounds they're wide fit and it's a lovely block heel it, i think it's quite a classic so now i'm hearing and i'm seeing everywhere that the pleated skirt is big on trend this season and i saw this metallic one from marks and spencers which is probably your least fashion forward place but i did say i do shop in the most unlikely places um and it's a line midi length and oh just this skirt a white t-shirt sort of oversized tucked in a pair of like knee-high boots that sort of vanish into the pleated skirt what do you think what do you think i like it's 35 pounds what do you think you need to cop yourself a nice pair of high-waisted wide leg pair of trousers now i saw these and again my tab i, d I can't even remember where i saw them from i'm assuming i'm assuming asos I don't know why I always assume ASOS because maybe I shop on ASOS quite a lot. But it's £39.99, so it's £40, relatively affordable, um, wide leg, and it's already got a belt attached to it. And it's just a diff a way of, you know, adding colour to that winter wardrobe. I really like it. Now, this is definitely something that I would get. These trousers are £18. Come on, they're super stretch and they're this khaki green again going back to those you know woodland earthy tones i love them those could definitely be my running around trousers loved it. i even like how they've styled it on the model just very casual i tend not to opt for white tops because I, I can't keep that clean with a little baby like where am i going wearing white where am i going it must be from asos it must be. If it isn't, I'll just mute myself again and say, where's it from? There you go. That's where it's from. Now, big on trend this season is florals. I know you're thinking floral, winter, but you, you it's, it's about getting it right. You've just got to get it right. Like Now, if you look for a floral dress, but it's like you, you need to look for a small print. So not the big prints, but the smaller prints against dark colours. So like... A floral print against a black now i saw this crop top where am i going wearing crop in winter in the uk but imagine if you're going out in the evening and you're doing a day to night look and picture those wide leg um what are they not camel colored trousers that i showed you before with this floral print crop top from river island so you're, you're doing a real day tonight this is risque and you top you wear that with this this top come on come on what do you think do you think it could work i'm imagining it in my head and you know when you imagine it in your head but then when you put it together it's like but this is what i'm seeing in my head i really like this 30 pounds from river island if i was into showing my flesh like that i would <laughs> like i really would and i'm feeling like even if you don't like these the little straps you could sort of just tuck them in and voila on the line of florals i saw this dress from new look now if i keep looking down you see my eyes looking down it's because i'm looking at my laptop um it's uh what is it? It's £30 from New Look. I think this is more my style. Um, I like the long sleeves. Um, I like the neckline. So you've just got a little bit of flesh exposed. I even like the length. And just pair this with a pair of tights. And my final piece that I've been looking at 
is this other dress from New Look. But instead of it being floral, it's polka dot. And what I love about it is that tie. So it just cinches in the waist. Ah, oh, it's a shirt dress. That's probably why I like it so much. I really do like shirt dresses. I even like how they've styled it on the model. Very risque with the knee high boots. So imagine a day to night look. So um, maybe on your casual Friday, you wear the shirt dress to work, a pair of tights. Just put these knee highs in, in your locker, or in, your, in your drawer, or put it in your bag. And then that's a day to night look already. I love it. It's definitely a look. I like it. Oh, it's not even £30. It's £25. Even better. Very affordable. Go for it. Wrapping in everything up. These are some of the items that I've been looking at in terms of transitional, winter, well autumn should i say and um, what's your favorite season i'd love to know comment below mine is actually summer well tell a lie mine what i've got a little story for you mine was summer but as um summer in the uk is very unreliable very unpredictable i'm starting to love winter more not because I love the cold, no, I hate the cold, but winter is predictable. You can expect rain, you can expect wind, you can expect longer nights and shorter days. You can expect it to be cold, but in the summer, the summers are very unpredictable in the UK. So it started to make me fall out of love with the summer a little bit. And I'm a summer baby, so deep down inside, I am a summer baby and I do like summer. But in terms of weather wise uh winter definitely does it for me and i suppose it's it's better for styling anyway you can you could do a lot more with your winter wardrobe i definitely think but comment below i'd love to know what is your favorite season thank you so much for watching what i'll do is um once i you know pick up some pieces i will share them with you thank you so much for watching until my next video make it happen bye <laughs> Bless me, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, caught that one. <laughs>